we will briefly discuss why the balance of payments balances to zero. In other words, this implies that a current account deficit must be accompanied by a capital account surplus and vice versa. Let's understand this intuitively. If a country imports more goods than it exports, it runs a current account deficit. Since the country is importing more, effectively it is paying out more money than it receives from exports. To pay this extra money, the country borrows from abroad. This means foreign capital is flowing into the country which creates a corresponding surplus in the capital account. Thus the current account deficit is balanced by a capital account surplus. Theoretically, this derives from the double entry accounting principle. Under this principle, every debit entry in one account has a corresponding credit entry in another account. For example, when a country exports iron ore, it is recorded as goods credit in the current account. The credit payment from the importer is recorded in the capital or financial account as a debit. Since each transaction has two entries in two different accounts that are equal and opposite, the balance of payments balances to zero overall. For more detailed video, please subscribe to the Knowledge and Learning channel.